three, two, one, go. All right, what's up guys? So I just wanted to show you the difference between Nomad Sculpt renders and uh, Blender and why I send my Nomad Sculpts to Blender. So if I put on post-process, uh, it looks pretty good. And actually I forgot to adjust the environment. I remember I, I turned it on because uh, I turned it on, but I didn't I didn't adjust it to the model. So I need to make sure that the lighting is where I want it to be. So I'll make it a little bit brighter here. So we'll do one with the lights on. So we'll do one 4K. Let's try to get the whole thing in there. So now I'm just going to send it over to Blender and show you some renders from Blender. So all in all, Nomad Sculpt makes really great renders, but it really doesn't compare to Blender. Blender is just a lot more thorough with the lights. You can add as many lights as you want. Cycles rendering is just way more realistic and there's really no competition. Uh, but Nomad Sculpt also has really great renders. I love making stuff in Nomad Sculpt and now that I know Blender a little bit, I can make renders. It's nice to bring it over there and then really create some amazing polished up renders. All right, keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out, really helps my channel out. Definitely check out my Skillshare classes. I have 2D classes in Procreate and 3D classes in Nomad Sculpt. Keep drawing, keep sculpting, and I'll see you all in the next video.